Okay, so back when we covered the leaked version of Windows 11, it looked like Windows 11 with makeup, some foundation and lipstick. Like, the start menu is in the middle. Now we have widgets. Wow. But Windows 11 is now more than that. You have Android apps running, better multitasking, and it still looks good. We have to give that credit. But there are still problems like changing your default browser to Google Chrome is more difficult than ever. And here, have a look. Even if you want to stick to Edge, when you search on the start menu and hit enter, it opens up in Bing like, ah! The overall icon pack in Windows 11 is so inconsistent. You can't sideload Android apps. Well, for all of that, for all of the problems, this is Prateek from TechWise.com and here are some cool Windows 11 tips and tricks. By the way, stay till the end. I'll also tell you whether you should switch to Windows 11 or not. First of all, if you're installing Windows 11, I would recommend taking a backup. Now, if you use OneDrive, Windows will directly give you the option to backup things. Or if you want to backup to a physical hard drive, here are the options. You just have to click backup. So by taking a backup, you ensure anything that happens to your machine, you can safely return to Windows 10. Now, after the backup that you have stepped into Windows 11, the first thing you would do is download Google Chrome. And then you would realize that changing default browser is not so simple. What is all this? PDF, SVG, HTML? Damn lot of files. And then you would go to Edge Deflector, which was a one-click solution to change web browser across Windows. It was. We also covered it in our Windows app series. You can check it out here after watching this video. But guess what? Microsoft choose war and block the app. I wasn't able to install the app itself. But hey, surprise, surprise, Microsoft. There are a bunch of apps like Edge Deflector. You can use Search Deflector instead. So we were going to tell you about Search Deflector, which was a one-click solution for changing the default browser across Windows 11. But sadly, it has stopped working. So the hard way around is you have to go into default apps, select your browser, and then keep on changing the default browser for every file type. This will ensure that any link you click on will open in your default web browser. However, if you still use the start menu search or the widgets, they'll still open in Edge and Bing. So as of now, no solution. We'll update the description as soon as we find out something. Now, the most dividing thing in Windows is at the center, pun intended, the start menu and the taskbar. Now, Windows 11 does provide you the option to move the taskbar to the left. If you still want to keep the start menu at the center because YOLO, use rounded TB to elegantly crop the taskbar to look more beautiful or like Mac OS or elementary OS, if you know what I mean. But the start menu now seems kind of blank blank, like there are a lot of empty spaces. And if you want to see all the apps, you have to click again. So if you love the older style start menu, there's an app called Start Menu 10. It lets you have your old Windows 7 start menu back, which was the best. It works seamlessly when you press the Windows key. It has all the programs laid out in front, so it doesn't require multiple clicks. Now, again, if you see, the taskbar is also changed. It looks beautiful. They could have made the icons smaller, but anyways. Now, in terms of functionalities, if you right-click anywhere on the desktop, there's only taskbar settings. Even if you single-click, it's still taskbar settings. You cannot right-click and open the task manager or just show the desktop. And one more. You cannot now drag and drop files to already open apps, which is, is just a bug. I hope it's a bug. Now, Explorer Patcher is an app that brings back the old Windows 10 taskbar, more functional, as you can see side by side. Now, after the start menu, the icons have also been changed in Windows File Explorer. Now, I really appreciate the new icons. They look good. But the colors, looks like someone skipped the consistency class in graphic designing. Now, there are very few icon packs available as of now. I'll link one in the description. Thanks to Quick House, all you have to do is right click on the folder and select customize. Now browse and choose the icon from the downloaded folder. One thing to note is two folders, desktop and contacts, won't have the customize option by default. You just have to modify the registry entry. I'll again leave links, download the registry entry files and just double click on them. All work will be done. Once this is done, see, this looks more consistent now. Another thing within the File Explorer is the new right-click context menu. You don't have refresh now, but that's okay. No one misses it. I do. But anyways, the new context menu don't have your third-party options like WinRAR, 7-Zip. You now have to click on Show More Options to again bring back to the old Windows 10 style menu. 
Now to correct this, go ahead to the run menu, type regedit.exe, go to this location, now right click and create a new key called this. Again, right click on it and create a new key in Proc Server 32. Then double click on the default key created here and just hit enter. Once done, restart your system and boom, you're back to good old Windows 10 context menu until next Windows 11 update. Windows 11 not only lets you run Android apps, but you can even sideload Android apps like, yeah baby. Android apps are now available on Windows 11 beta, but the official way only lets you add apps from the Amazon App Store and you're restricted to country location like USA. But what you can do is, after you have installed Amazon Store and set up Windows Subsystem for Android, go to Windows Subsystem for Android, turn on Developer Mode, we need the IP address now, and now download ADB. Within the ADB folder, type CMD here to open ADB. Once you have done that, connect to the IP address we copied previously. Just to clear out the process, Windows 11 installs a virtual machine here to run Android. We are using ADB to connect this laptop to that Android virtual machine. And then we'll directly install apps through ADB. Like here, I've straight away installed Google Play Store. And now let's try if I can run PUBG here. Nah, it's not listed. You cannot play that. Do we have COD? Should I have COD? No, there's no COD as well. Let's, let's try Subway Surfer. There should be Subway Surfer. Like funny thing, back when I was in college, people used to just buy a phone to play Temple Run and Subway Surfer. I mean, they still do that, but the game is PUBG now. Next up is my personal favorite and I cannot tell you how much people should use it. It's Windows Power Toys. It was a lost Microsoft project which was brought back recently. It's basically a lot of powerful tools for power Windows user. So the first app is Color Picker. If I like any color around the web, I just have to press Windows Shift C and you will have a crosshair over here. You just have to point to the color, click on it. It will get you the RGB value, hex code and everything which is super useful if you use Photoshop or just normal CSS. Next, you can press Windows Shift key and backward slash to show all the available shortcuts on Windows. Like Windows D is a useful shortcut that lets you minimize all the Windows applications. Or just press the Windows arrow key to quickly move an open application to split screen. Anyways, my favorite tool in Windows Power Tool is Keep Awake. It's like caffeine you had for Linux. If you have a copy paste task that might go for hours, you can just press Keep Awake. If you use a monitor or PC, press keep screen on. So this way your system will never go to sleep and that copy paste job just won't get canceled. We use it quite often because we have to copy a huge amount of data from the system to the local NAS. Now talking about start menu, Windows 11 removed live tiles. Remember the small tile on the start menu which automatically updated? Anyone remember? No? Yeah, that's why they killed it. Now like me, if you miss the feature, you can use an app called Live Tiles anywhere. Like I use the live tiles for an app called Newsflow. It's an RSS reader. Now in case you don't know, RSS reader is something which lets you combine all the articles from your favorite website in one place. Like suppose HTTP techwiser.com. You can go here, click on RSS, just copy this URL on top and paste it into your favorite RSS app. In my case, it's Newsflow. Now I just have to press enter and done. Add, done. Now in start menu, back in Windows 10, it used to present the title and short summary of the news, just like in short apps. If I was interested in the news, I could just click and read the entire thing. Now in Windows 11, you can use an app called Live Tiles Anywhere and you can literally place the Live Tiles anywhere on the desktop. You can convert any app into Live Tiles and even customize what you want to see on the Live Tile. Like in my case, I have Newsflow and now I can place it anywhere and it updates the news frequently and I have the same thing on my desktop now. Now, for most of you people, a major doubt would be, should you upgrade to Windows 11? Well, here's my example. I upgraded to Windows 11 on this machine and suddenly games started crashing. When it did start, there was unusual lag and frame drops. And I'm not sure, it happens mostly if you have a Ryzen CPU or GPU, and it's just not me. It's happening everywhere. There are a lot of articles and forums. And the most 100% working solution for this is quite easy. After you upgraded to Windows 11, head out to your manufacturer website, or if you have an NVIDIA GPU, just open GeForce Experience and update your drivers. Post that, do a restart, and things should work fine. Windows 11 has brought a lot of under the hood performance changes, and your GPU needs a driver update to understand these changes. For instance, here, hold on. 
If you changed Alexa's name to computer, see, computer, set a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes starting now. Now everyone in the house needs to be aware that it is not Alexa anymore, but computer. They need to call Alexa by its new name else it won't function. Now for final thoughts, Windows 11 is not all bad. There's some good stuff as well. Like being able to install Android apps and sideload them as well is also the new Windows terminal which combines PowerShell and CMD is really good. I'll try and leave a link to the article explaining the differences between all the three. Do check it out. And overall, as a matter of fact, that you are able to do so many changes and customize Windows 11 is just great. But I still have my long list of complaints, bugs for Microsoft. <laughs> On that note, this is Atik. Like the video if you like the effort and see you pretty soon. Whoa, hold on there. Here's a friendly deal visor. So Black Friday is going on. And if you're looking for a VPN app, well, Surfshark VPN is available at a discount of $2.5 or 190 rupees per month. Three reasons we recommend it. Number one is the cheapest VPN out there compared to every other VPN in the market. Number two, it doesn't have any device limit. So you can use it on any number of devices. Number three, everyone at TechWiser has been using Surfshark VPN for about a year now, and we have had no complaints from it. And before you say it, it's not a sponsored shout out. We love the VPN. We want to share it with you. It's available at a good discount. So you can buy it from the affiliate link in the description.